fall. Okay, so we have found ourselves a place to work. It is a shed at Sam and Joel's. Yes, there are a couple of dead animals in it at the moment. I believe it is a mink and a squirrel. Not sure exactly. But um, yes, we have a place to work. It does have a stove in it so we can stay warm while working on the Jeep. We do have... Oh, he's sleepy. We do have quite a bit of work to do on it today. Aldo's going to tell you what the exciting plan for today is. Nothing interesting. It's just an oil change. We'll probably, you know, try to get the winch on if we have enough time, but mostly it's just an oil change. Come on, sit. 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 Yeah. sit. We also have some company here. Hi, guys. Aren't you supposed to be in your pen? <laughs> what are you doing out here? You're not supposed to be in there. No. 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 Get out. 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 Come on, guys. Get out. Get out of here. Okay, so there's quite a bit of stuff in here right now. So first things first, we are going to clean it up. Not really clean it up. We're just going to move the stuff so we can bring the Jeep in. And get rid of the dead rodents. Let's go. Leave the goats alone. Stop it. Okay, <laughs> guys, I, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Uh, no. Hey, off the Jeep, please. Okay, there's just some stuff that needs to be moved around. Other than that, we're good to bring the Jeep in. We're getting the fire going. It's gonna warm up soon. It's still a little cold right now. It hasn't warmed up yet, but it's gonna get there soon. Okay, I think we're ready for the Jeep. Looks like it can come in. Let's bring it in. so excited for this this is going to be a game changer right yep okay i'm coming in hold on i need to warm my feet up a bit so my feet are warm first thing on the list coffee then we're gonna do the oil change. I cannot thank Sam and Joel enough for this offer. This is, this is a game changer. It's awesome, thank you so much, you guys. This oil filter looks like it's like at least some 10 years old. No way. It looks like it's never been touched. Really? Can you get it out? There's our oil filter. Yep. There's the oil filter. Okay, what else we need? We need six quarts of oil. And we have a plaster on there because Kala bit it and started leaking. 
Yeah. <laughs> we have 5 liters here and uh, we need about 700 ml from this one. So it's 5.7 liters in total which is 6 quarts. Then we have funnel and our oil catch pan and What's that? the oil filter removal tool. Yep. Fancy. Its part number is 63690. It's used on all spindle spin on oil filters from two and a half inch to three. It should just come right off. Sure. The video was wrong. He wasn't working on a 17 year old Jeep. He was just showing how to use the tool. Yeah, it's going. <sighs> yes. You have done it. Come on, undo it. What are you thinking? Uh, you take the oil off first? Yeah, I think you should drain the oil first. <laughs> I'm Good not thinking. Sure. Good thinking. Good thinking. Getting nice and toasty in here, huh? We're gonna drain the oil out now. I always love this part. I love how when when you take the the bolt out, the oil just like spurts out. It's oddly satisfying. Right? Yeah, well, if I can break if you this. Can, if you can break that and get it right in the pan, that is. So do you live here now? I think so. Oh, my favorite part. Don't get it all over you. Oops. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Oops. Okay. The christening. <laughs> Baptizing it. Stop. I hope it fits. So we got the
the oil change done. Just want to talk to you about a couple of updates. I remember in our initial build video, we spoke about a lift kit. We said we were going to go ahead and do a two and a half inch lift kit. But after doing some research, after talking to some people, we realized that a two and a half inch lift kit is easy on a JK or a JL and you don't have to deal with a lot of suspension components and you don't have to do a lot to the Jeep while you put them in. But with the TJ, we've realized that anything over two and a half inch lift kit, you may have to modify and you may have to look into other components of the Jeep. You may have to look into some suspension components, some, uh, lower control arms some upper control arms some differential something transfer case drop bracket and some other jargon that aldo told me about but you have to mess around with a lot of other things so we have decided that we're going to keep it really basic so we've decided to do a two inch coil spacer instead it's called the budget boost apparently so that's what we're going to go ahead and do we'll put it on we'll go on a couple of trails we'll try it out i i think for now that will be sufficient for us especially because this is our daily driver we don't really want to mess around too much with it yet also we're not going to be doing really big tires oh, I, I think we, I said we are going to be doing 33 inch tires but we've decided that we will do 32 inch tires and that segues in perfectly because we have ordered our tires we want to thank our friend brendan for helping us with the tires he helped us order them we've also ordered some steel wheels so that's going to bring the whole build together our friends at four wheel parts helped us with the wheels we want to thank aaron for shipping it to us all the way from toronto uh, we're going to put them on the jeep tomorrow also this morning when we left we thought we were going to put the winch on so we collected all the supplies to mount the winch onto our bumper but then when we got here we we got to talking and then we realized that we don't want to put more weight on the jeep yet before we have gone ahead and added all the components underneath so we've just decided to hold the winch off until maybe just towards the end of the build so we're just going to push that back a bit that's it for today we'll see you tomorrow when we're getting the wheels and tires on see bye okay so it is another day it is not the next day it is the next next day we were planning on getting the tires and wheels installed the day after we shot that video but then we had really bad weather we had a storm for the past couple of days which delayed the arrival of our wheels the tires were here on time but our wheels did not arrive on time also because it had to arrive from ontario it did arrive today and this morning as went over to get both of them installed and it has made the jeep look really good the wheels and tires have made a huge difference the jeep does not look tiny anymore it does not look stock i think it looks absolutely amazing and i think with the addition of our spacers giving it a bit of a lift it's going to make a huge difference and it's going to make it more capable for us on the road and off the road as well enough of all of that Let's take a look at the Jeep. Are you ready for this? <laughs> that came out weird. Are you ready? Okay, you're ready. Let's take a look. KO2s. They are the exact same tires that we had on our JL. They are 32 by 11 and a half by 15. The rims are by Pro Comp. They are 15 by 8 with 3.75 backspacing. So that's what they are. And I think the Jeep is not the only thing that got an upgrade this week. If you haven't noticed, I got an upgrade too. Aldo did a pretty good job at it. Apparently, the groundhog has said that it's going to be an early spring. So that's something else we can look forward to. We are excited and a little anxious and scared because up next we have some more critical components we are going to be doing the the spacers uh, the shocks so that's going to be the next thing and we have to also dive in to the mechanical aspects of the Jeep with the steering 
leak and everything. So getting into the mechanics is not something we're really looking forward to, but it has to be done. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this week's video. We'll see you next week when we're probably going to try to install the shocks and the spacers. Before I end this video, I want to thank Brendan at Tuskit Kia. I also want to thank Aaron at Four Wheel Parts and Sam and Joel for letting us use their place. Place. Place plus space and became place. Anyway, like this video if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and leave your questions and suggestions in the comment section below. That's it. Thanks. Bye. Say bye, Carla.